What's up guys? Um, this is Marshall back at you again working on a uh, 2016 freight. Uh, this is an international LT or ES uh, Proster, one of the new Prosters. And um, this one is got after treatment issues. Uh, you can tell by this light that's flashing right here. It also has gotten into D-rate where this light is on and uh, these other two lights are because of a uh, ABS sensor that I need to change as well but right now what I'm working on is after treatment issues um, this one and this one I have connected uh, I'll connect the truck to the computer this is degraded to 25% speed right here so this that's why it's beeping and um, this truck is pretty much not going going to move more than five to ten miles an hour but uh, I'm gonna uh, migrate to the computer and show you uh, what the computer is saying and uh, we'll, we'll work on that and get that taken care of all right so I'm back at the computer and uh, you can tell I got uh, one two three active fault four uh, one two three four five active faults uh, the, the top three are the ones that we're concerned about right now. They're all related to the knock sensor, outlet knock sensor, circuit, op uh, circuit voltage below normal and shorted or low. Uh, then of course it's causing it into uh, engine protect torque derate. And this is uh, the stop engine, this red, um, most severe. So. We're gonna go ahead and I already got the uh, the knock sensor so I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it where it's located how, it's repl how to replace it and then when once we're done we'll uh, run a region on it and show the numbers um, if it wasn't for that beeping noise that's so so annoying I'll try to run the region right now and show you that the knock sensor is actually reading zero zero so um, I'm gonna Turn this annoying noise off and go under the truck and change this sensor and show you how where it's located how to change it and we'll go from there thanks all right underneath the truck um, right under the transmission oh, I mean on the uh, the back side of the SCR filter um, you'll find where, where the Downstream of the exhaust, where the SCR filter is, outside of it, you find the, the NOx outlet sensor. That's the last sensor that's in line with the exhaust as it goes to the back. So the inlet is right to the front, right after the turbo, and it goes through the DPF system that goes through the SCR then the last thing last sensor in line is this NOx NOx sensor outlet uh, so it is got the wire connections and it plugs in right there so you have to, all this has to come off this whole setup uh, this one is the most challenging part, uh, but if you get a uh, if you get a uh, a uh, uh, oxygen sensor uh, socket, one with a slit on it, you can slide it. Then, if if and it, it, it does come with uh, anti seize on it, but so it shouldn't be too difficult to take off. But that's you know, I'll try to take it off without damaging it because this thing needs to go back. Um, the, the, the core charge for this sensor is ridiculous about 400 bucks, so this needs to go back in one piece. So I'm gonna take it off. Uh, seven, seven, sixteen, seven eighths, twenty-two millimeter, or you use a uh, a uh, a sensor, oxygen sensor uh, socket to take it off. 
Uh, then when you put it back, just make sure you put back with anti-seize so it doesn't seize. This thing gets really hot, so obviously this taking off, this is going to be a challenge. But anyway, I'm going to take it off and I'll show you how it is to put it back on. Okay, the new sensor is on. It wasn't too difficult to take off. Just a little elbow grease uh, to break it. No one comes with anti-seize. Uh, and then the sensor head is mounted right here. There's two bolts right here, right here, and one in the back of this thing. Uh, five, uh, five sixteenths to mount that uh, sensor head right there. Then you plug it back in, zip tie the stuff out of the way so that uh, it doesn't snag on anything. You know, zip tie it so it doesn't hang. You know, just. Yeah, let's go inside uh, to see how we're doing on the computer. All right. Okay, I'm back in the truck with the new sensor on. Reconnected the computer. So now, back on the computer, what you do is you clear the fault codes. So, uh, reset all fault codes. Oh, is that what you want? Yes. Please the key, turn the key off and then press OK. Key off, press OK. Waiting, uh, wait 100 seconds before allowing the key on. So it's pretty much resetting all the computers in the truck and once it's done then you you know it will start reading normally all the D rates is off and everything I'll put it in regen and once it's done with the regen uh, well, in, during the regen I'll show you the the values that uh, that the knock sensor is reading which which shows that the system is good all right, I'll show. I'll come back with you when I'm in region. All right, back at the computer, I'm running a service region uh, on the SCR uh, system test on um, Cummins Insight. So, as you can tell, on my the values, my intake is reading 155 particles per minute. And my outtake is reading nine particles per, per nine particles per, per, per million. If you take this value 155, you subtract this number. It's, uh, let's say 160, so you get 151. So if then you divide 151 divided by 160 times 100, you should get a, in the 90 90 percent. I think it's like 90 percent over 90 percent. You're good. Uh, so this system is now fixed the the error code is gone um, on the system and the beeping is gone um, check it the light is off and the, that uh, and, and that uh, um, the beeping and that uh, 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 check it the light and the sign is gone uh, prior to me starting working on this 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 value right here was staying on zero regardless of how long you run it it was staying on zero showing that that center was bad it wasn't reading at all but it's it's good now and uh, I'm gonna continue running this region until it is done but then uh, we'll just keep looking at these numbers make sure they're, they're running within the parameters so far so good but anyway thanks for watching the video please like sus subscribe and share the 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 video and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions uh, yeah that's how you replace a outlet knock sensor on a this is an international Proster 2016 ES version so same thing as a LT uh, and uh, process is pretty much the same uh, this particular truck is a Cummins ISX and it's running a region right now so it's a little noisy so the, yeah, it, uh, it's running a region so it's a little noisy um, yeah so thanks for watching 
share, share like, and subscribe, and uh, see you on the next one. Thanks.